And we've already talked about changing fractions into decimals. Um, that's what we did with our last session. It was very easy. Um, you just divide out the fractions. Not too bad. Now, this is possibly even easier, uh, and we're going to go from decimals to fractions this time. And the two things I want you to write down, and you may not know what the first one means yet, but you will in a second. Um, number one is put the number over the decimal label. Uh, over would mean as like a fraction, like the decimal label would be on the bottom and the number would be on the top, and then we're going to reduce it down if possible. And again, you'll understand what this means in just a second here. All right, here's the first decimal that I'll show you, and everybody should know that this is six tenths. And what I mean by putting the number over its label, um, if you read this decimal, it's exactly how it sounds as a fraction, six tenths. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the six on the top, and the label is tenths that's going to go on the bottom so it's six tenths that's how you would write that as a fraction now all I need to do is reduce that down and I should be able to divide both of these by two and end up with three-fifths now if you want to check and make sure that you're correct you could always change this back into a decimal which isn't that hard um, all I would need to do is set up my division problem uh, my 5 would go on the outside and my 3 would go on the inside. I'll put a point zero after it here. The decimal point shows straight up. 5 does not go into 3. 5 goes into 36 times. Subtract. I've got no remainder. So it terminates. It's done with. Back to point six or back to 6 tenths. The next decimal you will get is, of course, 75 hundredths. So again, I'm just going to write it with the number on the top and the label at the bottom, which in this case, the other one was tenths, this one is tenths hundredths. So my hundredths needs to go at the bottom. Seventy-five hundredths is exactly how it sounds. Now all we need to do is reduce this down. Um, I could divide by five. I'll probably divide by twenty-five because the bigger the number I use, the less times I'm going to have to reduce it. Seventy-five divided by twenty-five is three. Hundred divided by twenty-five is four. Three-fourths is our reduced fraction for uh, 75 hundredths. Now again, I can go back and check to make sure that this is right. It's not hard to do. Uh, just draw my uh, division uh, symbol here. 3 divided by 4 is what I'm doing. And if I do this, I put my decimal point 0 after it. 4 goes into 3, it doesn't. Uh, so I'll put my decimal point straight up here. 4 goes into 30 7 times. Uh, 7 times 4 is 28. We'll subtract and get 2. But then I have to keep going because I have extra left here. So I'm going to put another 0 here and bring it down. Uh, 4 goes into 20, of course, 5 times, and there would be none left over. So again, I turn it back into 75 hundredths. My next example is 125 thousands it ends in the thousands place so if I were to write this it would be 125 and then thousands exactly how it sounds uh, now if I reduce this fraction down which I should be able to um, looking at both of these we could probably start off with probably 25 we could probably do so if I divide by 25 I know that 125, there's five quarters in a dollar twenty-five, so I know that's going to be five. Ooh, I don't know about this one. Let's see. Um, there's four twenty-fives in a hundred, and then there's going to be ten hundreds in a thousand, so that's going to be forty. And it looks like I can go a little bit further with this. If I divide both of these by five, five divided by five is one. Forty divided by five is eight. So my final answer would be one eighth. Now, if I wanted to check and make sure I was right, it's not hard to do. I just need to do one divided by eight. Eight goes on the outside, one goes here. Give me a point zero. Eight goes into ten once. So there's eight. I will subtract and get two. Now I need to put my zero on here and bring that down. Eight goes into twenty twice. 8 times 2 is 16. 
subtract and we'll have 4 and then I need to have another 0 on here bring that straight down 8 goes into 40 five times and there would be none left over there's my 0.25 don't let a whole number throw you off uh, if you have something in the whole number place here this number is 14 and 85 hundredths uh, all we need to do is take our 14 and that's going to go in front of our fraction Okay. now we're going to have our 85 hundredths which is written exactly how it sounds 14 and 85 and then hundreds is our label. There's our answer but it just needs to be reduced. Uh, I think I can divide both of these by 5 and let's see here my 14 is still going to be in front 85 divided by 5 I gotta think is 17 and then 100 divided by 5 is 20 so my answer would be 14 and 17 twentieths. And again, if I want to check and see if I was right, I could divide this out. And I'm just going to forget about the whole number because that's going to go at the front of our decimal when we figure it out anyway. So I could change this to an improper fraction and divide it out, but it's probably just easier to forget about this and then put it on at the end. So if I do my division, uh, looks like the 20 would be out here and the 17 would be here. I'm going to need a point zero. Uh, 20 is going to go into 178 times because 8 times 20, 8 times 2 is 16, so 8 times 20 is 160. We'll subtract and we'll get 10, and then we'll put another 0 here and bring it down. 20 goes into the 100 five times perfectly. Okay, so there's my 8500s part. You just have to remember to include the 14 on the front of it and there is changed back to what I started with. Alright, ultimately I don't think this is too terribly difficult, but what I would like to do in your notes is write down these four problems, test them out by trying to change these into fractions. Okay. Um, I would recommend that when you're done, just to make sure you're right, check it by doing a division problem, make sure you can turn it back into these numbers. Why don't you pause the video uh, and see what you can come up with. Alright, let's check and see how you did. This fraction is 73 hundredths, tenths, hundredths, so I'm just going to write it 73 hundredths, and I don't think I need to do anything with that one because I think it's already reduced. I don't can't think of anything that goes into 73 and 100, so we'll leave that how it is. 8 tenths. That's just going to be exactly how it sounds, 8 tenths. Now this one you should be able to cut in half. You should be able to do a division of 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Over here, we've got 3 and 2 tenths. And again, I'm just going to cover up the 3 for now because we're just going to put that as our mixed number in our fraction. So we know our big number is going to be 3, 3 holes. Now we need to figure out the 2 tenths part, and it's exactly how it sounds. 2 tenths, 2 tenths. Now we need to reduce that, and we should be able to divide both of those by 2, and we're going to end up with 1 fifth. So our answer for that one would be 3 and 1 fifth. Uh, and our last one, we have 444 thousandths. So, 444.